On April 19, 1995, a truck full of explosives detonated outside of the Alfred P. Mora Federal Building in Oklahoma City, taking the lives of many. This event brought heartbreak to the entire nation. After planting the 4,800-pound bomb outside of the Federal Building, the perpetrators nearly escaped unscathed. That was until a twist of fate led to their demise. The Oklahoma City bombing is one of the deadliest terrorist attacks in U.S. history, and it is valuable to be educated on such events. I was first captivated by the Oklahoma City bombing when I toured the National Memorial years ago. I spent several hours walking through the different exhibits and taking in all of the information. Since then, I have done an extensive amount of research on this event. Today, I will first discuss the events that led up to the attack. I will then discuss immediate effects after the explosion. And lastly, I will explain the long-term effects that it has had on living victims. So, how did this event unfold? This attack was constructed by two American military war veterans, Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, both men questioned the legitimacy of the U.S. federal government and corporate allies. They feared that they had dictatorial plots. April 19th marked the anniversary of a climactic point that ended the Waco siege. On this day, federal agents raided the Branch Davidian religious compound. The goal of the perpetrators was to avenge the more than 70 deaths that day in Waco, Texas. According to the Oklahoma Historical Society, on the morning of the attack, McVeigh parked a Raider rental truck outside of the federal building containing the homemade ammonium nitrate fuel oil bomb. McVeigh ignited the bomb, locked the doors, and hopped in his getaway car. Minutes later, at approximately 9.02 a.m., the bomb exploded, destroying the entire north wall of the federal building. Now that we have discussed the events leading up to the attack, I will discuss the immediate effects after the explosion. The explosion took the lives of many and left over half a billion dollars of damage. According to History.com, after two weeks of rescue efforts, it was concluded that 168 lives were lost. On the second floor of the federal building, there was a daycare center. 19 of those deaths were children. And after the explosion, many children were left orphaned and hundreds of children lost at least one parent. In addition to the deaths, more than 650 people were injured. The bomb destroyed far more than just the federal building. According to the Oklahoma Historical Society, th more than 300 buildings were damaged and nearly 500 people were left homeless and more than 7,000 people lost their workplace. I've discussed the immediate effects after the explosion, but even today, this event still haunts living victims. The Oklahoma City bombing left long-term effects on its survivors. According to the Medscape Medical News website, victims are still battling anxiety, and depression, even 20 years after the attack. Nearly a quarter of the victims deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. Researchers said that they felt there are still unmet medical and psychiatric needs in some of the survivors. The people of Oklahoma City will never forget this tragic event. Today, I have discussed the events leading up to the attack, I have discussed the immediate effects after the explosion, and I discussed the struggles that are still being faced by living victims. On April 19, 1995, a truck full of explosives detonated outside of the Alfred P. Mora Federal Building in Oklahoma City, taking the lives of many. 
So whatever happened to the perpetrators after Timothy McVeigh left 4,800 pounds of explosives outside of the federal building? According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, McVeigh was nearly in the clear until he was pulled over for a traffic violation and arrested for unlawful possession of a handgun. Before he was to be released a couple days later, he was identified as a prime suspect. Soon after, Terry Nichols turned himself in to the police. Both men were charged on several counts of murder. McVeigh was then executed in 2001 and and Nichols was sentenced to life in prison. These two men constructed one of the deadliest terrorist attacks in U.S. history and left the nation heartbroken for years after. Thank you.